as you see this is my rhino screen and grasshopper screen i'll be talking about basic stuff about graph mappers and let me switch to perspective so what is a graph map a graph mapper is a component that can be found under input and under sorry under parameters under input tab here graph. and if you zoom into that you see nothing and it says floating parameter graph mapper failed to collect data. If I right click to this, we'll see graph types. For instance, if I say Bezier, it will create sort of a Bezier curve uh, control points in which this can be used to create or this can be used to manipulate the geometries that we are going to work on. However, they are not limited with Bezier. You see a bunch of different options here, like conic, Gaussian, power for power function, sine function, sine summation, and so on and so forth. But let's stick to this. Stick to this one for now. And as you see, if I double click to this, what I'm seeing is x0 is 0, x1 is 1. So this is basically can be thought as a, as domains, right? And when we see domains, what we usually do is we usually remap those values based on those domains so that whenever we change anything in terms of, in this case, geometrically, they will be changed between zero and one. But since we would remap those, it will change the things that we want to change in the right numbers or in the right mathematical formula. So, Let's think about like let's create a let's create a curve that has this kind of a geometry. In order to come up with a curve, what probably I would be needing is kind of series, right? Like a like some sort of numbers here. But let's, let's grab our let's grab our point component, construct a point, and let's construct let's say hundred points okay and let's construct them on our x axis so what i'll be saying is i'll create sort of a series i will have 100 points and i will have my count as 100 so it's going to start from zero and goes to 100 but it's in you see i'm seeing them here but a small issue, so okay, zoom in. But they're super small right now because the step number is one. So why don't we have it? It's 102. And now we have a bunch of numbers here, and they are created as points. As I said at the beginning, what I need is I need to convert this red, convert these points, uh, sort of a convert these values, sort of a. Uh, in between values or convert those values into values that I wanted to change in the z direction for instance. However, first I need to divide this graph into the number of points that I'm having. And to do so, I'll go and grab a range component to show you how. And when I connect this, my number of steps is 10 here as you see. And you see it's divided into 10 with this red lines. And when I take these steps and put that instead of 100, if I say 99, what I'm seeing here is basically 99 different values. However, I don't see them here because they are too much for this. But if I create a panel and connect that panel to here, what I'll be seeing is I'll be having 99 values. Now I'm having 100 values here. So if I put this in, so how many points I have? 100 points. How many values I have? 100 values. So now the next thing or next step is to basically take these points and take these points and connect their values onto a remap version of it. So I'll grab a remap here. So what I'll be doing, I'll be needing for remap is the value value to remap is this and my source is 0 to 1 which is 0 to 1 because my range is 0 to 1 and my target 
create a target domain i'll go and grab a construct domain and my target is now going to change let's say 0 to 100 and or 1500 let's say and when i put this as my z value let's say i'll connect this to my z value you see now i started to see my points are going to be following my graph mapper so uh, that is pretty much it for this video we just created this curve here in the next one we'll be talking about how we can convert this into a surface how we can manipulate this sorry how to convert this into a curve first and then a surface and so on and so forth so stay tuned